Hi, let's see how you can manage inventory easily with the help of ProfitBox. So by clicking on uh, inventory icon uh, from this menu, it will show up this screen. This screen lists down the list of all the saleable items that you have created uh, and there are different tabs. So we'll come to these tabs later on. So let's start by creating or adding a new product. So for example, if you are adding a new product, I will give you a, uh, I will say uh, Nokia Lumia 720. It's a mobile phone. So it's a mobile phone. So if you want to track inventory for this product, say yes. And if there are batches, you can further say yes. So the difference is uh, when you enable batch for a particular product, you are uh, while purchasing uh, or and while selling you have to mention the batch number of the product so normally uh, batch numbers are for perishable items uh, or the items which are manufactured so i'm going to say opening stock so by on clicking on this uh, opening stock uh, field it will ask me where to put this stock so for example i say stock room 2 and I will say I have 50 quantities uh, with unit price of uh, say 15,000 and my batch number is uh, BT456 something like that and you can mention the manufacturing date and the expired date just make sure that the expired date is in future because if it is in the past uh, it, uh, the obligation will not allow you to sell this particular product you can add multiple rows for, for selecting different warehouses so your opening stock is here now uh, you have 50 quantities now if you want to set some reorder level for say 40 quantities so once you uh, exhaust uh, once you reach this uh, level uh, you will get an alert now uh, if you just want to sell this product if you manufacture and sell this product uh, you have to mention the sale price for example 17,000 rupees and mention the income account now if you are a trader and you also purchase this product you can just click on this box and say I purchased this product at uh, this price and mention the expense account and there is a unit of measure if there is something you can mention it otherwise you can skip this and you can uh, mention other details like uh, it runs on Windows, phone operating system, and all other details as much as you as you want. Click on save. So this product will be added here. Now uh, you have all the details. For example, in income expenses and inventory will batch here now once you start uh, adding purchases and the invoices you will see how much you have uh, sold this year and how much you have spent in purchasing this quantity what's your opening stock what is your stock available and uh, once you start creating invoices uh, the list of invoices will start showing up here now this is uh, this is a list of warehouses so you can edit and delete this product so I'm going to go back to the main screen. Now on this screen there are different tasks for issued for production, received for sales, stock transferred and so let's see how you can manage the stock. So click on the manage stock button. Now uh, if you have purchased some raw material and you want to issue that raw material for production usage <coughs> so you can say that so for example uh, so you'll ask me to select a warehouse so i'm going to select a warehouse first so in this warehouse i have available quantity as uh, 98 so uh, this is I'm assuming that this is a raw material and uh, this will go for production so I will say in whatever the unit normally cages and save this stock 
now uh, once the product is produced uh, and you want to start creating invoices for that so uh, in this in that case you will use this particular screen for receive for sales so for example uh, by assembling two three raw materials you are creating a product you can just select that product and uh, mention the quantity and warehouse you can add multiple rows as well if required now uh, if you, you are moving a product from one warehouse to another warehouse or another location you can use this screen to record the transfer so for example i'm moving this road from stockroom one and my uh, transfer date is uh, today's date i'll select the product or the number of products now in this uh, warehouse this this particular product is not available so i'm going to select another product this product is also not available and you can mention the transfer quantity and the destination location similarly while uh, in during production or during uh, maintaining the inventory if you uh, if there are some wastages you can just use this screen to record the wastages for example uh, accidentally you broke some mobile phones so you can mention that uh, new uh, nokia lumia uh, two quantities there is a wastage you can add the details of the wastage so this way you can record the wastage so i'm going to first voucher and uh, going to click on save so it will save whatever data we have entered for issue for production screen so let's uh, you can edit this record or delete so let's go back to the home screen so all the uh, uh, added transactions will start appear here issue for production receipt for sales all or your all your transfer entries and all your wasted entries so this is in this way you can manage uh, your inventory very easily